Ho ho ho! Merry everyone! It's been quite a turbulent year, and I wish I could say that it all was well with the world now. But hey, at least it didn't all end last Friday. There's just a few updates I'd like to mention for the last few weeks and months. Firstly, Richard O'Dwyer is apparently not being extradited to the States. Instead, he has to pay about £20,000. What? £20,000? That's much less than all those poor people who are sued by the RIAA for downloading music. These were normally in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Conspiracy to commit criminal copyright infringement, my tush. I know this is old news, and I'm sorry, but these things just have to be said. Either way, though, it is good that the extradition isn't happening. Anyway, what's with Comcast's new logo? Just over two weeks ago, Comcast adopted the renowned NBC Peacock as its own corporate logo. A strange move, considering that the cable loan company still only owns 51% of the network. The intermediary conglomerate NBC Universal is still using its purple text quote-unquote logo. Is this whole affair symptomatic of a deepening of efforts to sell an idea that isn't strictly true? Or am I just seeing things that aren't really there? The year has also seen speculation that CBS might buy Sony Pictures. Apparently Sony doesn't want to play this game for the moment, but I thought I might throw that in there anyway. Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation really confirmed, recently confirmed plans to split itself in two sometime in the new year. One company will retain the publishing arms and take the News Corporation name. The other will be named the Fox Group and take, you guessed it, 20th Century Fox and its subsidiaries as well as the Fox Network. I'm not sure which company will get the 39.1% share in B Sky B, but I'm guessing it'll be the Fox Group. This whole thing is rather reminiscent of Sumner Redstone splitting his Viacom empire in two in 2006. Of course, his company wasn't quite in the crisis that News Corp is in at the moment. So anyway, let me close this report by reminding you all about the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, TPP. It continues to be negotiated in secret and people power is having a relatively small impact on that. Still, the fact that it's having any impact at all is somewhat good. While it doesn't affect us directly here in Ireland, what happens in the States tends to influence what happens around the globe, especially in terms of the Internet and the World Wide Web. So I urge you all to be vigilant and head on over to Avaz and sign their corporate Death Star petition. It's not really on their priority list anymore, but it's still open and it hasn't reached its target of a million signatures yet. While you're there, check out the reports for more stuff that happened this year. So yeah. 2012 has been some year. A lot of different stuff has happened. Some table turning, some enlightening, some crummy, and some just plain confusing. So until 2013, this is me, Plum JMK, signing off, and by the way, not using Windows 8.